What's up guys, it's Phil the Racer and welcome back to Minecraft Mechanisms. Got something cool to show you guys today. Piston door, or pressure plate door, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you how to make one of these babies today. Looks really cool, you can cover up the circuits so that no one can see. And as you walk through, it sends a little charge through these pressure plates and activates the pistons to open. You walk through and it closes behind you. Anyways, this is a basic layout of the mechanism. So what you want to do is break two down. Okay, you want a uh, two by three little hole here. So it's uh, two across, three down. And uh, then you want to build out one on each side. Or break out on each side. And then you want to break out, but uh, up one. If you get what I mean. And then after that, you're going to want to put a block with your redstone torch. And this little uh, block here is to carry the signal into the second piston, as you can see on this side. Okay. And then because you've wired up some redstone underneath here, connected it to the block that the uh, redstone torch is on, whenever you send a signal through the plates, the pistons retract. And then when you step them off them, they come back in place. So let me show you how to make one of them. Grab everything we need out of a little uh, chest here. You need redstone, pressure plates, sticky pistons, redstone torches, stone, or whatever type of block you want to use, and planks. First thing you want to do is build down two, or break down two, on a two by three little hole. And then you want to build down two on each side, so that it looks something like that. You want to build down one on each side after that. Okay? Okay. After that, you want to put redstone torches right here and right here at the ends of the holes. Put your wiring in everywhere. Make it look really cool. And then, you want to put your floor in. Now, only on these six pieces. You do not want to cover this because this is where you put your pistons and your blocks. Okay? Now not to worry about those second pistons, we'll get to them in a second. Just fill everything in. All you need to do to get your second pistons in place is to put a block on top of the redstone torch and that will carry the charge into the piston. Pretty cool, huh? Now to hide the mechanism, all you need to do is build across as if it's part of the house or the structure, whatever you're making. Something like that, real pretty like. And then you go ahead and you put your pressure plates in place. You walk through, it opens up, closes behind you. you put your pressure plates there. Okay guys, once you're inside and you've covered up all the uh, blocks, made everything look pretty, made it all look legitimate, you're going to want to leave these blocks bare on both sides. Okay? You're going to want to put a block on each end. And then you're going to want to wire it all up with redstone. Don't let the redstone touch the pressure plates or it will ruin the circuit. You're going to connect that all and you want to put a little lever right here. Okay? Once that lever is active, you can't access the doors at all. You can't get through. It's like a lock switch to keep all the beasties and monsters out at night. When you're ready to go back out in the morning, you just flick your lever back off and you're free to walk back through. Okay? Okay. Alright guys, that is the piston door. In all of its glory, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful and informative. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more. As always, I'm the Field Eraser. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!